Hey guys, good morning from Rijeka. This is our first full day here. It is hot and we are ready to explore today. We just got in from Zagreb yesterday. It was about a two and a half hour bus journey here. Really nice to be on the coast. I know there's a lot bigger and maybe more famous cities here in Croatia to explore on the coast, but really, really impressed. And if this is a taste of things to come, we are in for a real treat because this city is quite incredible and we can't wait to show you guys around it. Okay, so before we get into the video, I have to say this, I have to give a shout out to the Croatians I've met so far because they are some of the kindest people we have ever met. We've only been here for four nights, so not even a week, and we've had so many random acts of kindness. For example, the first night in Zagreb, we actually got locked out of our apartment. We got sort of sent the wrong code for the uh, lockbox for the keys. And we had a Croatian guy just sort of stand there and he ended up calling the, the host. And he stayed there with us for about half an hour until uh, we finally got it all sorted and we got let into our apartment. The other one was yesterday when we had Hannah going into the gluten-free cafe to get some food before we hopped on the bus and we had all our backpacks. I was sitting on the ground outside the cafe because it was quite a small cafe and I had some Croatian come up to me and even in English he said, oh, is everything okay sitting on the ground? I said, oh yeah, I'm just waiting for my girlfriend in the cafe. He's like, oh yeah, you're smart sitting on the ground in the shade. It's very hot. Honestly, I just hope the rest of the country is like that because uh, Zagreb is the capital of Croatia and generally speaking, I guess, capital cities are known for not having maybe the friendliest people towards locals but if Croatia is going to be like Zagreb I think this is going to be our favorite country we're going to be showing you around various parts of Raika today and one of them which is where we're starting this video is down by the docks here because there's uh, there's a few stories in this Firstly, it sort of shocked me to read that Raika is actually considered a bit of an industrial town and I don't know how much of that I believe because this is by far the nicest industrial town that I've ever stepped foot in. Croatia's first ever steamboat was built here and they have a massive uh, shipbuilding industry here. This morning we saw one of the longest, in fact, probably the longest freight train we have ever seen. It honestly went for miles and there was a lot of pedestrians waiting to cross the tracks. It was, uh, it was quite a funny and unique thing to see. One of the other interesting stories about these docks is when the Titanic sunk in 1912, there was actually a cruise ship from New York that was heading to Raika right here. However, they got a distress call about the Titanic sinking. So what they had to do was divert their route two hours away to go save some passengers from the sinking Titanic. They actually managed to save over 700 passengers, which they then picked up and took back to New York. However, when it finally made it back to these very docks, the interesting thing is that one of the young waiters on board picked up a life jacket from the Titanic and later donated it to a museum here. What's so interesting about that is that there's only five life jackets recovered from the Titanic, and one of them is right here. Okay guys, we are about halfway up this massive staircase. I think there's about five or 600 stairs in total. Definitely get the bus, but if you're on a budget, you may need to take the stairs. You can actually get a pretty good view considering we're halfway. You might be able to see a bit of the ocean and the docks and uh, some of the town there. We're only about halfway. We still have a very long way to go. So we have made it here to the Tercet Castle. It was completed in the 13th century and in 1750 there was actually an earthquake that destroyed parts of the castle and it had to be reconstructed. We are 138 metres above sea level which gives perfect access to be able to view the docks and what ships were coming in. At this current time they actually host music festivals up here, there's a food truck festival going on, there's concerts and there's an art gallery and cafes. So it's really nice to come check out, despite the 600 stairs to get up here. I 
it's only 11 30 a.m right here you can probably see this is where we actually started the video there is just there the white boat and that's where we shot the very start of this video now we're at the very top and I've just been interviewed by the local croatian news channel about my thoughts on croatia and it felt very surreal because i was literally asked the same things i was just saying to you guys about an hour ago which was is croatia safe what are the people like etc etc one of the other things i said was that croatia was firstly my favorite country so far even though i'd only been here a week and secondly that it is definitely the safest country i've been to and i actually meant both from the bottom of my heart however it probably sounded like i was just saying it because i was on tv but uh i genuinely meant that and yes croatia is safe i don't even think that's a question i think i actually read that it's the safest country in europe so i would definitely agree with that i've had zero issues but yes let's see what events the afternoon brings us standing alongside St. Vitus's Cathedral, which is a beautiful building here. It has been standing here since 1638. Now, the other thing is, last video we gave you guys a little hint on where we were going next, and this building is actually on the back of the 100 Kuna bill, which they use here in Croatia as the local currency. So I can see why they put it on the back of their currency, because it is a very nice building. Okay guys, now for the best part of the video, we finally get to show you and we get to experience ourselves our first taste of a Croatian beach. I think our first impressions are where on earth are we going to have a seat? We found a spot. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Um, the sunscreen is on. We are very pasty people, us Australians. <laughs> GoPros are waterproof, but we've always been way too scared to put it underwater because I think it's about $700 and <laughs> I really don't want one of the little uh, battery compartments to open up and then the whole thing's a write off. But we have decided we're going to put this underwater and see what it's like. <laughs> well, it's still on, so I think it works. One of the other things we should say is that this beach is just like a little random one of a series of beaches. So we came down the stairs up here and then over there, you might be able to see a little staircase at the edge and that is another beach. So they go all the way along and the water gets very deep very quickly. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so we started down the docks. We hiked all the way up to the castle. Then we hiked a little bit further away to go to one of the beaches to enjoy the nice water. And we're going to end this video at one of the lovely canals here. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And we just want to say a huge thanks to all of our subscribers. We've just hit 500. And yeah, we're pretty excited about that. So thanks, thanks for watching. Guys. And we'll see you in the next one.